Scrolling over my Facebook newsfeed the past year or so, I noticed something interesting. Ube was getting popular in... the US? Yes, it's true. Ube has been getting quite the recognition in the US, with some claiming it to be the next big thing in the US food scene, largely due to the popularity of Ube-based food that had been making the rounds in social media. However, this isn't the Ube you and I have probably grown up with here in the Philippines. I mean, look at this. Chicken and Ube waffles? Ube Pop-Tarts? $100 24-karat gold crystal champagne icing Ube donuts? Huh. After reading about all this US Ube stuff, I wanted to try some this past January on a family trip to New York. So at one point, I found myself in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, where I tried an Ube Ginger Goji Romania Acai Mesquite Tea at a cafe that also doubled as a nail salon. Yeah, I'm definitely in New York. Also I had, of all things, Ube Makapuno Ice Cream. Yes, Ube Makapuno Ice Cream in New York City. Apparently Ube Ice Cream is the best seller at Soft Swerve, another establishment in the Lower East Side. I have to say though, the taste is more subtle than what you'd find in Manila, at least in my opinion. It tasted almost Japanese. So, what does any of this Ube stuff have to do with Manila and the Philippines' economic and urban development? In my previous vlog, I mentioned that culture is important in economic development. After all, without a sense of identity and a vision of what we can be, why would the average Philippine citizen care about the Philippines enough to stay and vote for the right economic policies? What fascinates me about Ube's newfound popularity in the US is how it came to be. As it turns out, Ube's social media popularity is because of its unique color. In other words, Ube isn't just delicious, it's visually appealing. In the eyes of your average foodie, Ube sticks out and it entices him or her to taste it. I think the case of Ube is a lesson that Manileños and Filipinos in general can learn from. I don't think we have to be ashamed of our culture. We have to package it and provide a vision of its essence and what it could be, not just for non-Filipinos, but for ourselves as well. The fact that our food is making strides abroad, in fact, I should also add that Bibinka has seen some popularity in Japan, is a good sign for us. But can we do it? I've actually seen a lot of creativity and innovation here in Manila, at least with regards to the food scene. Let's look at some of our own Ube innovations. Hello, hi. I am at La Lola Chucheria and I'm trying some modern variations on our Ube ingredients. We have churros, merengue, and ensimada. I'll cut the ensimada in a bit so you'll see what kind of, uh, you'll see the Ube inside. So, yeah, it's just interesting that we can innovate so much with our own, with our own food. Obviously, it's getting popular in the U.S. and hopefully elsewhere abroad. Okay, so start with, I'll start with the churro. Good, really good. Good, really good. So, chocolate, ube chocolate covered. It's really good. Okay. Wow. Put it back and put it back. My friend is, is recording this and she's laughing really hard, so... But she's also really shy. Hi, Apple! So everyone say hi, Apple! <laughs> Alright, try the meringue. I only have spoons. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make a mess of this, but... Okay, yeah, so I guess it's all... Uh, see what's inside. It's not creamer thing, it's all... Uh, what do you call this? What's, what do you call this kind of inside? Oh, it's a pastry, so anyways. Huh. It's on the dry side. But you know what it tastes like? It tastes kind of like... I don't know, I guess maybe like the crust of a cake. Oh, really good. Okay, let's do the next last one. Uh, Ensimada. It doesn't look like it's open it, but inside there is. You have to open it. Yeah. Ah, I'm butchering this oop, this ensimada. The oop is gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so I apologize to everyone, but yeah, there it is. There is the ube. It's just some really high end ensimada. It's like almost 200 pesos, but I'll see if it's worth it. Uh, oh my 
Okay. This is really good. You should go um, Makati Diamond Residences. So which one's better? Which one's better? Yeah. Which one is your favorite movie? Oh, you asked me a very hard question. Nira. I said lahat masarap. Um, I don't know. It depends talaga sa sa mood. Okay, one, two, three. I don't know. I feel like if I if if people if the, if the restaurant owners watch watch this video, they're gonna get angry. Parang magagalit sila, whichever one I choose. So I'll just say I like them all equally. Depends on your mood and the time of day. But anyways, it's really good, and I'm glad that uh, we Filipinos can innovate with the ingredients we we have in our country. Okay, those ube desserts were really good, but honestly, I was going to puke after that. Too much sugar for one sitting. I wanted to try more stuff, so I ended up eating on other days. This ube cheesecake at Starbucks was pretty good, too. In parting, I'd like to leave you with some visions of a first world Manila with a revitalized culture that is also a top destination for ube aficionados. Imagine a park in first world Manila which was centered on the theme of ube. Let's call it Ube Park, also known as Liwasang Ube and Parque de Ube. It would be a park with cafes, restaurants, and activities for the public. The park center would have a cafe where visitors could also learn about the process of making ube-based food. Ube Park would also have different ube-themed restaurants. For example, an ube-inspired European restaurant, an ube-inspired Filipino restaurant. Now let's look at some of the food being served at Ube Park. Ube ice cream with queso de bola, pandesal, and sapinit, which is a Filipino raspberry. Is that the right pronunciation? Bibinka with ube swirl. Ube pizza with dried fruit and camembert cheese. Ube French toast. Ube ohagi, which is a Japanese sweet. Ube ramen. There would also be other activities in the park, including activities for children. For example, having kids learn about horticulture through planting and growing ube. Anyway, those are some ideas of how we can capitalize on Ube's growing international popularity. Hope you like my ideas. Thank you for your time. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to First World Manila on YouTube or following us on Facebook. If you subscribe on YouTube, click the bell icon if you want notifications whenever I release a new video. Maraming salamat po, y muchas gracias.